Hey you guys, alright so today I am so excited to be doing my favorite fall makeup look with you guys. It's been a little bit since I've done just like a full makeup tutorial. This one is going to be a little, with a little bit more drama right for fall. So I wanted to do it in just a little bit of a different way as well with some different sort of like fall trends but not just in the typical way that you always see, you know, fall makeup or fall nails. I've got so many great unexpected ideas for fall nail polish products that have been my favorite lately that I've been loving, but with kind of like a fall spin with some new things. So I'm so excited, y'all. Everything is available at Walmart. Everything is easy to get. Just so many great things. So I'm really excited to be partnering with them. This video is in collaboration with Walmart today, so I'm so excited. I love, I always love to do these beauty videos where you can, you know, where you can get all the products from one place or, you know, it might be a mix of things that you've seen me talk about before. So I get my hair out of my face. Maybe you'll discover some new things. Okay, so let me tell y'all, I've been using the same SPF daily moisturizer for a long time. And um, it's kind of expensive and you know, I just wanted to try something new. This is actually a product that I used to use years ago. It's the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF 15. Really good ingredients, you know, oil free. I don't ever to touch my face. It's gonna like get super red. It'll calm down in a second, but I really do like that. And I think the ingredients are better than the product that I was using before. And also, I forgot to mention this top. I'm, I've been loving this top, but they have the same brand, same material, same color, and kind of like a cowl neck, like really cozy version as well, which I really like this one too, but I will link to that because um, I just picked that one up too and I really like it. So the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir, you guys. I am in the shade 03 Light. I like the whole vibe of it. You know, you can put it on your face, you know, if you want that whole like, hmm, it's gonna drip this on. I kind of like to just put it on my hand. I think that's just like the best way to it do it. It's so lightweight but has a ton of coverage and it creates this beautiful just like light airbrushed finish. It's really nourishing. It makes my skin feel comfortable. It's a part of their organic wear line and I like that Walmart has a whole section. You know, I'll link to it below but if that's really important to you guys, I mean ingredients are always important to me but I love that they have made such a priority of categorizing like more clean beauty brands. I mean the finish is incredible. I mean, it's the more like you blend the drops, I don't know, it's just, it's really, really cool. So um, I will link to that below. This is a good one too that you can just take right up under your eyes because it is so nourishing. So I always love when a foundation, you can do that. A little bit of under eye concealer. This is really cool. It's the L'Oreal True Match and I'm in the color Fair. What I love about it is that it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it is like an under eye, like skincare type of concealer. Literally, it's called eye cream in a concealer, pure hyaluronic acid. I mean, come on. Just dab it in right with your finger. The coverage is so, so good. Sometimes I like to do that with my finger rather than like using a sponge or even like a brush or something to your eyes because it doesn't like take away the coverage. It really can kind of get it all on there with your finger. Kind of like just dab it in. Such a new fave of mine. I love this concealer. I go ahead and do my bronzer. This is just my favorite, the butter bronzer. It's the best powder bronzer on earth and it's like, smells so good. You can contour with it if you get it in the right tone. This shade is actually in the bronzer shade. So I know that this product comes in a lot of different colors. I'm gonna link down below to everything that I'm using. Um, if I need to add shade info or anything down there, I will put just a little bit on my neck. And then y'all, I usually do my highlight last, but I wanna show you guys this product, the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey, which I think is just so beautiful. That's what I'm gonna use here in a second. But this, you guys, this is such a cool product. It smells good, but it's not too overpowering. It's the Illuminating Body Mist. I've had products like this before that, you know, the, ch the glitter might be a little too chunky or it's, it's like glitter, you know? This really isn't like that. It's just pure, just beautiful shimmer. You can put just like a little bit, you know, on your shoulders, on your chest, whatever, but it has like such a nice, like fresh scent to it. So it's just such a beautiful product. I really love the highlighter. It is just perfection because I really cannot find a lot of highlighters that I love that are in a gold tone. I find that they're usually too yellowy or they're just not right. This one is kind of like the perfect like nudie gold and when you put it on it's just like a beautiful glow. I'm just using the same brush that I used 
my bronzer, are not a big deal. I like to put just a tidbit on my nose. And it just lights up your whole face in such a pretty flattering way. I'm gonna use a little bit of this as well. You can use it if you want less of an intense look, which I don't want like super pink cheeks today. Just use it right with your brush. Like look how perfect that is. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And it looks natural, kind of like, especially if you've just used highlighter, it can kind of, you know, if it gets down too low or whatever, if you do your blush in this step, it'll help. If you wanna do your highlighter last, if you really want it to be more intense, you can do that, but I just want it to look a little more natural. But I love this cream blush. It's really hard to find cream blushes that aren't super, like, oily or greasy. And all of the products by this found brand have really amazing ingredients as well. But it's nourishing cream blush, tint, and petal flush. I think that's such a perfect color for fall, too. It's face, pretty much, let's get into the eyes. So a lot of times I'll do like my cheek color and stuff last, but we're not using things that are very, you know, that are gonna fall out or do anything crazy. So you can just get it, get it all done first. All right, so this is my very favorite eyeshadow. This is how I apply it every day. It's the Julep Bronze Shimmer. Now I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. You could use this. This is exactly what I do every day. With this brush, I take it and I just blend it in. You can kind of pull it out a little bit on that outer corner but it just looks like you've used a lot of different colors and you can honestly leave it at that and be done. You can blend it with your finger too. It also has like a really handy little sponge on the other end too if you just want to use that. But a lot of times I'll just use a brush. That's what I've been doing most every day since I discovered this brush. It's just been my fave, fave, fave. So such a pretty, pretty color. When Pencil Matte Gel, I talk about this eye pencil all the time. This was the one that I mentioned in my favorites. It comes with a beautiful brush that just has the two most perfect sizes of brushes, but the colors are really, really great. So you can leave it at that, but it's such a good base color if you did want to create something a little extra. I want to do something just a little bit warmer, and I like that it has these colors that I really like toward the end, these pretty sort of like cranberry-ish, like bronzy cranberry colors. I'm gonna layer that right over and you can see how that kind of like warmed it up a little bit. Every time I use this color it always makes my blue eyes pop. Like it just makes them really stand out. Such a good color to use if you want to make your eyes look even like bluer and brighter. Anything kind of coppery that has like a hint of like a reddish tint to it is always a good idea. It's so pretty. I love this color. I use the same little brush that I used before just to kind of blend. I'm gonna take this other little end and use that natural color right in the middle because I want to add some drama to my lower lid area. And you want to use just like kind of a natural color for that. But I take it down just a little lower than I usually would. This is such a pretty I just cannot get over this palette and these eyeshadows, the eyeshadows blend so well. And then if you wanted to darken this outer corner a little bit, take the uh, the matte brown right there and just put it a little bit right in that outer corner get it on the other side wipe your brush off and then blend it really well beautiful highlighting shades there's a black I mean it's everything that you need this is my favorite eye pencil this is in soft black I usually use the one I think called soft brown or rich brown um, but both are good I mentioned recently that I wanted to get a new liquid liner. So I grabbed this one again. I remember loving this years ago. It's the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. This one is really easy to use. The formula is nice. It really does stay on very well. For my mascara, I'm using the Bambi Eyes. I love this stuff, y'all. If you haven't tried it, definitely pick some up so dramatic and it builds really really well builds a ton of volume and then for my brows i'm using the revlon color stay in blonde so this is my go-to brow pencil so easy and quick really makes a huge difference and i also forgot to mention the gilded honey set you get the gilded honey luster lip gloss too and that's what i'm going to kind of show you right now before we do the red two ways i like to go about doing like a fall lip my go-to nude lip liner the maybelline nude whisper and a swipe of a beautiful gloss y'all this one is so pretty oh my goodness just such an easy beautiful wear it anywhere kind of look right so you could definitely do it like that i took it off because i think the ultimate 
fall lip for me is a red lip. I prefer this, like I said, even to like, you know, just the typical deep fall like berry lips, which is totally pretty too. I love a red, but it has to be the right red. Start off with a red lip liner. This is the Maybelline Very Cherry. And then y'all, I found, I feel the perfect formula for a matte lip, Maybelline Matte Superstay Ink. The one in the shade Loyalist is the perfect nude. I love that one. I have two different reds. I have this one in Heroin, which is more of like an orangey red, and then this one in Pioneer, which is a little bit of a deeper red. And we're gonna kind of mix them. You don't have to. You've seen me use this one before for a brighter look. I'm gonna start with this one. If you notice, I did the bottom and then I barely did that. And then I kind of defined the top line. That keeps you from loading on so much because with red, I feel like less is more. You don't need to pile on so much of the color. I love this liquid lipstick formula. It's not drying, it's not thick and goopy, it doesn't get clumpy. This color called Heroin, like I said, is a little brighter, a little more orangey. And what you can do is just wipe off as much as you can and then maybe dab just a little bit in the middle. And I think it just adds like the perfect amount of dimension. It looks almost like an apple. Like I just, I love it. And there you, and there you have it, y'all. Okay, let me show you a few things about my nails. So you might think, okay, like a red nail, that would be pretty. I, and again, like I love red for fall of red anytime really, but you know, rather than doing just, which this was really hard not to do because I love like a deep, almost black nail. This one is really pretty. It's in Diabolique. And this is the Habit Nail Color. Really good ingredients. It's a part of that whole section, like I said, of mindful beauty products. So many good like nail loving ingredients. I really do like this brand and the colors are beautiful. The color I'm wearing today, you may not think, you know, oh, this is overtly fall, but I love it. It's not like a bright, like springy or summery corally color. It's almost like an earthy coral and it's called Terra. So really, really beautiful. And I think this pairs well with this. Like if you wanted to do this on your toes, which I love dark colors on my toes, and then this on your nails, this is such a good pairing. And then this color I got a few months back and it's in the color Aether. And it's like this sparkly, gorgeous blue, like sky blue. And I thought how unexpected would that be? Like such a pretty color to wear on your nails and fall. Like just like really short, perfected, beautiful nails in this color. So I love all of these three colors and it just naturally I think made a really cool palette for fall. I like all those three colors together. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, a huge thanks to Walmart. Check them out, I will link below. To everything that I used, those more mindful beauty products, some fall trends, what I'm wearing. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all, I hope that you got some fall makeup inspiration from this one. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.